Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and today I'm going to be dyeing this piece of Ada and this 10 gram skein of a jute cotton blend. Now, what I'd like to do with this piece of Ada is to dye it in a spiral in a similar way that you would dye tie-dye t-shirts or something like that. So I've just picked up the middle of this and just twist it round. Uh, I'm by no means an expert in tie-dyeing. Uh, there you go, and some kind of elastic bands just to hold that over as best I can. And then I'm going to run over like that. Uh, and I think I'm going to do one like that. And last one like that so I've got it in six there are six segments there as you can see so that's a sort of guide for me where I'm going to place the die okay. now I'm going to be ice dyeing this so I've got my crate and got my piece of Ada there and this jute this this cotton jute blend I'm going to Again, I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to see how this works as a bit of a spiral as well. I don't know. Uh, so again, that's just a just rolled just rolled that up. Oop. And try elastic bands like that. One, one across. And I'm going to do the six segments like I did with the other one. There we go. It's very rough. but now These have been soaking in soda ash for a while, soda ash and water. Normally I'd soak with salt as well, but I didn't do the salt today. Uh, the salt generally helps to get a more even coverage and I just want to see what the difference will be without salt today. I've got my gloves and my mask on because I'm going to be we're using powder. Now today we're going to be using the primaries. I've got this one, lemon, lemon yellow. I'm just going to sprinkle this over two of those segments. Normally I would put the ice on top and then the dye, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit this time and do uh, a little bit of dye and then ice on top of the dye. This is a beautiful bright yellow. Now because these are primaries of what we're using today, they won't break like we've seen in other videos. So they're only made up of the single colour. Okay, I'll do for the yellow. So make sure my hands are completely dry before I go for the next colour, which is Fuchsia Red. And the last one is Turquoise. And now I'm going to add some ice cubes. I think I'm going to put some around the edge first and then build it up. Yeah. That's probably about enough. One more. Yeah, and I'm just going to leave this now to melt. And hopefully by the end of this, we'll have some lovely spiral yarn and uh, Ada. Looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Here is our ice tower. I forgot to mention that I put the uh, yarn and Ada on this crate here because I don't want the yarn and Ada to sit in dye water once everything has melted. I started this on Sunday afternoon and it's now Tuesday morning. The ice had completely melted by Monday morning. Uh, I just left uh, these wet 
like this just to allow the the dye to a little bit more time to bond to the fabric so now here's the moment of truth let's see and here's all the, the runoff the Ada first. Wow. Wow, that's probably the best spiral I've ever made. Wow, that is beautiful. And I only used the three primaries, so it's really nice to see got some greens there and some and some purple not really any orange but that's all right let's see this one uh, Ooh, oh that is really pretty as well I've got some little micro stripes oh that's lovely so I need to rinse this until the water runs clear which might take a while but I'll just keep rinsing this until the water runs clear and add a little bit of washing up liquid that just helps rinse out any excess and then once once I've got the water to run clear I can hang this out to dry and here is our finished Ada and yarn I, I'm so impressed with how this has turned out I and mean, this is probably the best tie-dyed spiral I've ever made I uh, it actually looks like a spiral whereas usually my spirals just look like splodges i love how the um we've got the they've still got the yellows and the blues not so much the red on this one but we've got some lovely blended purples and greens as well and on this one here we've still got some lovely reds which are now bl blending into orange and into yellow we've got all the all the colors of the rainbow on this one and it's not too bad either the bits that are on the bottom you can see they're a little bit sort of mucky colored but they're still very pretty and again with this yarn it's got the barber pole effect on it as well so some bits are slightly darker than the rest and I think I think this is beautiful and this will knit up really really well and I think it will be very pretty little micro stripes on this Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed my little experiment. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, please leave a comment, say, tell me what you thought of this video, if you'd like me to do this sort of thing again. I, try, I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday, and I like to experiment with different dyes and techniques and fabrics and fibres, so there will always be something different. Thank you so much for watching.